to assist women in Iraq who were caught between the violence of an occupying country's warmongering and the wholesale slaughter of women on the streets of Iraq by local extremists. Today we're trying to organize a similar project to assist the Iraqi and the Syrian women who are victims of the same violence. Militarism is a radical feminist issue not only because rape, sexual slavery, and trafficking in women are fueled by war, but for other reasons as well. I want, to cons I want you to consider the following reasons spotlighted by Patricia Hines in an article on mili why militarism is bad for women. Uh, Pat Hines happens to be my partner. She says, Massive numbers of women civilians are killed and injured in modern warfare. Women are injured and killed by landmines. Widows of war are displaced, disherited, and impoverished. 80% of the world's refugees are internally displaced women fleeing war and conflict. Women and girls are sexually exploited by UN peacekeepers and aid workers and NGOs in post-conflict regions. Women and girls are at higher risk of STDs from soldiers and peacekeepers. Women and their children lose health, housing, education, and welfare services due to war-related pressure on these services and the priorities of the military budget. Women suffer higher rates of battering from military husbands and partners and women in the services now, now, now undergo higher rates of battering and rape from military, from male military. Women, women are exposed to toxic chemical weapons and environmental contamination. So in, in closing, I would say it is mainly feminists who have, in store, who have historically insisted that violence against women is a human rights issue. And like those women who are drafted, who were drafted into military sexual slavery, who continue to insist on justice and restitution, we as feminists once had to insist that rape, woman battering, prostitution, and pornography are crimes against women. We're still insisting, particularly where pornography and prostitution are concerned. And we will continue to insist. And I think that we honor the comfort women by opposing the contemporary comfort systems of today. Thank you.